good morning. I hope that by the time I manage to get downstairs and end this video and upload this video that everything in here will still be relevant. Because the government are changing their mind so quickly at the moment, I literally can't keep up. Since the announcement at four o'clock yesterday that you are going to be receiving your central possessed grades, they've changed things yet again. And if they change things again, before I can actually get this up, I'm just gonna do a live stream with me banging my head against a wall and swearing as loudly as I can because why are they doing this to us? They literally, had five, six months to get this sorted and they have in the biggest way possible. This is one of the most extreme shows of incompetence I've ever seen from the governments. Anyway, tiny man's over. I am calm zen. Trust me on this. Anyway, in this video we're going to be going over what grades you're going to be getting now, what grades you're going to be getting next week, yeah I know next week, um, what this means for A-level students, what this means for university places and um, what this means in general. So last night, Ofqual announced that centre assessed grades would stand for A-levels and GCSEs. No announcement has yet been made about BTECs, but I'm sure that will come later, making this video out of date. Anyway, they said centre assessed grades. Now this is a really important aside that I want to take here, which you probably don't think is important, but is important because this is an example of the way that the government are manipulating us and manipulating you. All of the way through, these have been CAGs, Centre Assessed Grades, which means your teacher and the whole department and the head of the department and the exams officer did a lot of work moderating these grades, making sure they were sensible, putting you in rank order. Now, the government's message had changed rapidly overnight to Teacher Assessed Grades. That is, they've never been called teacher assessed grades. They've always been called centre assessed grades. But this is um, kind of like a way that the government are manipulating you to say, look, don't blame us anymore, blame your teachers. Even though they've never been called teacher assessed grades, they've always been called centre assessed grades. This is a way that the government is manipulating you. Do not let the government manipulate you like this. Do not let your anger go towards your teachers because we should still be angry at the government for this. Anyway, your centre assessed grades are now going to stick. Um, there are a range of problems with this. Um, starting with A-level students, it has come a week after your standardised grades were released. So lots of you will have had a week of turmoil. Lots of you would have been stressing. Um, lots of you would have been waiting on your first choice place of university seen your standardised grades, lost that first choice place at university and then either gone to your insurance choice or gone through clearing or decided to defer a year. Now that first choice of university isn't going to wait around for a government announcement that it didn't know was coming. So what it has done is given those places away. Now the government has said that it's removed the cap on students which means universities can take as many students as they like but where are they going to put all of these students? They need to find a place for lecture theatres, for labs, for tutorials. They need to find lecturers to mark the work. They need to find accommodation to house them. So it's not as if universities can all of a sudden take double the number of students. It's not as if they can all of a sudden take every single person they gave an offer to. Because universities frequently give 200, 300, 400, 500 extra offers. Um, that they don't have spaces for because they expect people to uh, not pick them at the first stage or go to their insurance choice or just, you know, they give out offers that they never accept, uh, expect to be accepted. For example, I got six offers when I applied for university um, and obviously I only took up one of those offers. So there are going to be circumstances where people have now got the grades that they can get onto their um, firm choice for universities but that course is now full and you cannot go to that university, which is devastating. Now, the government has said that they expect universities to um, honour their offers, but, you know, 
when you sit down in your class your teacher expects you to be quiet do you always do what is expected of you there is no legal requirement for universities to do this um so we are going to be in there are going to be a large number of students who are still disappointed and I do not think there is going to be any appeals process for the centre assessed grades there might be kind of like again the administrative um error which I talked about in a previous video where maybe people with similar names have got confused but no appeal against your teacher you against your centre assessed grades. Now for GCSE students you're going to get your results on Thursday and then a week later you are going to get your standardised results. I do not know why it's a week later because normally they'd be released to schools um, on Wednesday morning so they're already waiting to be released and you will get whichever grade is higher. So if you are one of the rare students who has been standardised up then that is the grade that you'll get except you will not know that until next week. I don't know why they're not just going to release them all at once. The problem with centre assessed grades is that some schools will have done the job properly, some schools will have done the job really really fairly and given everyone a fair representative grade of what they, how they're working at the time. Obviously it's not their representative of what they could have done in the exam if they actually set it because every single year there are students that surprise us that step up massively. For example a solid C grade student the whole way through A level will turn it around and get an A in the exams. A solid grade 3 student will turn it around and then get a 5 in the exams but um, that is the situation we're in. There is no course for appeal. If you think you could have done better in the exams, then the only thing you could have done is reset in the autumn. But not all schools would have done this fairly. Some schools would have turned around and said, yes, every single person in the sixth form got all A stars and every single GCSE student across every single subject will have got nines. So we are going to see massive discrepancies between the schools that did things fairly and the schools that did not do things fairly and because some schools weren't doing things fairly that's where the standardization that's why the standardization was brought in um so again this isn't a fixed solution it's too little too late there has been no apology from the government for the way that they have messed this up um but it is not your teacher's fault it is the government's fault um any questions guys, I will do my very best to help you out. Ouch. Mm, love you too, Prim.